My friends, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I'm reviewing today is the Covia Cupid Heater. This is a small, lightweight, butane-powered heater, and I've been testing this out for the last couple of months. This is an interesting product, to say the least. If you decide to purchase this heater, this is what you're going to receive. This storage box, This is the little Covia heater. Very small, very lightweight, very compact. This measures 10.3 inches by seven inches by 5.3. The weight of this is three pounds. And as I mentioned before, this runs on butane and butane only. You have the grill in the front, the ceramic heating plate in the back. Up at the top, you have a carry handle. Down at the bottom, this is part of the support system. You fold out this leg and then you set it down. Angled upwards. On the bottom of the heater, you have holes for ventilation. On the side, this is your on off switch and also your igniter. To use this, you push it in and then turn it. Click to ignite. Again, this is the front. This is the top. You can see this hole here. That is so that you can insert the butane canister and get it notched into place correctly. You have ventilation holes up here at the top. And then on this side, this is the port for the butane canister. Speaking of butane, this is what a canister looks like. And this is an eight ounce can. You can see how you have this notch up here. There's also a notch inside of this heater. Pop off the cap. There's the spout, you insert it into the heater, notch it, and then twist it into place. That's how you install the fuel canister. You can deploy this in about 30 seconds. It's that quick. Let's go ahead and fire this up. As I said before, you push in on this switch, you turn it, you can hear gas escaping, click it down to ignite. Even in the daylight, you can see that ceramic plate glowing now, and that's after 15 seconds. I went ahead, I shut off the heater. Now let's talk about BTUs. There is some conflicting information when it comes to this topic. I've read on Amazon that this offers 5,633 BTUs, but on the Covia USA website, it says 3,333. My assumption based upon my experiences with the stove, this is around 3,000 BTUs. If it was higher than that, I would be surprised. By the way, everyone, I don't think I mentioned this. Covia is a South Korean company. They make stoves, they make heaters. They make a wide range of products. And in general, the company has a favorable reputation. In general, the company is known for making higher end products, namely backpacking stoves. That certainly resonates with this product here because this is on the more expensive side when it comes to butane heaters. In general, butane heaters run around 70, 80 bucks. This is $110 at the time of filming on Amazon. And the retail price of this is $140. With that being said, everyone, let's begin going over my pros and cons that I have concerning this heater based upon my experiences with it over the last couple of months. The first pro that I have concerning this heater is the overall fair performance. This was designed for very small spaces, namely in a tent, in a rooftop tent, in small vehicles, and small spaces. This is not comparable to a heater buddy in terms of overall performance, and it's not comparable in terms of size. There is a huge difference between these two products. Talking about the run times, with one eight ounce can of butane, you can expect roughly two hours of runtime. That's on high. If you want to scale that back to low, right around three and a half to four hours. Talking about the run times for a second, when I first got this heater in, I mentioned in a video that I had read people stating that this will run for about six hours with one canister of butane. That is simply not true. That's complete BS. There's no way to get one can of fuel to last that long. It simply is not going to happen. While we are talking about the performance of this stove, I do need to mention this. When it comes to the heat output between these two modes, low and high, there's a very small difference between the two. But there is a large difference between efficiency. When it's on high, it goes through the fuel twice as fast as low, but it does not put out twice as much heat. So keep that in mind. To get the overall best performance of this heater, you need to run it right in the middle. That will give you the best overall performance along with good fuel 
fuel efficiency. The next pro that I have for this heater is the fact that it's so easy to use. It's easy to set up, to deploy, you could fire it up in no time, and it heats up fast. Whereas buddy heaters can take some time to warm up, that's not the case with this little Cupid. It warms up super, super quick. Within 15 seconds of firing this up, it's getting hot. And at the same time, it cools down quickly once you're done. And additionally, everyone, inserting and ejecting fuel canisters is very easy. Next, everyone, the form factor of this is impressive. It's also very lightweight. The igniter works extremely well. As far as the noise output of this stove, it's very low. This is a very quiet stove, especially once it gets warmed up. At the beginning, there's a little bit of burping, but that goes away after about 20 seconds. Next, everyone, the shielding on this is very good. It does not get hot underneath. You don't have to worry about the surfaces underneath. And the same goes for the side and the back. Next, my friends, the build quality on this is top notch and the ceramic plate seems to be of a good quality as well. The next pro that I have for this heater is the storage box. The fact that one is included, but don't misunderstand me. This is cheap. This is flimsy. It gets the job done, but it could break at any moment and I would not be surprised. This is close to being junk but so far it has served a purpose. But there are a ton of reports of this breaking after no time. So be careful with it and be prepared to replace it. Next everyone, the cost of fuel for this stove is very inexpensive. You can get 12 cans of butane, eight ounce cans, for roughly $30. That's not a bad price. The last pro that I have for this heater is the fact that it's very sturdy. Once you set this down, it's not going anywhere. You're not going to accidentally knock this over. Those are the pros that I have for the Cupid. These are the cons that I have. The first con is price. The retail price is $140. That is a ton of money for a butane heater. $110, that makes sense. $140, I'm not sure if that does make sense, folks. Yes, the form factor is great, but you have to keep in mind the overall performance of this heater. As I mentioned previously, most butane heaters run around $80. $140, is really, really high. You can find buddy heaters for less on occasion and their performance will be over three times this little heater as they are substantially more powerful. With that being said though, you do have to keep in mind what this heater was designed for. This was designed for very small spaces, small tents, rooftop tents, small vehicles, and small spaces. The Mr. Buddy heater is substantially more powerful and was designed for larger spaces. You put this inside of a tent, you stay warm. You put a Mr. Buddy heater inside of a tent and it would cook you. Next everyone, we have to talk about the overall performance of butane. With temperatures below 40 degrees, butane tends not to perform very well. I've used this down to roughly 20 degrees. I had the fuel close to my body, kept it warm, popped it in, and I ran the heater until the fuel canister ran out. So make sure to consider that. The fuel does take some care to use properly in cold conditions. Next everyone, the company states there is an auto shutoff feature with this heater but they do not state what that is exactly. I'm going to assume that if you knock this over, it would shut off. But I don't know for certain if that's what the company's talking about. Additionally, from what I've read, there's no oxygen sensors or anything like that. So you have to be exceptionally careful when using this inside of a tent, inside of a rooftop tent, or in a small space. You will wanna make sure that you have good airflow. And I would recommend a good carbon monoxide detector. And I would recommend one of those for a buddy heater as well. The last con that I have concerning this heater deals with an interesting issue that I had. Sometime back, I went to fire up this heater, and when I did so, I noticed that liquid fuel was coming out of it. Whoa. So I took out the canister. I thought maybe I had a bad connection or something like that. Reinserted it, turned it on, and ignited it. While, of course, standing back, this heater was shooting out fireballs. I mean, we're talking about two feet high easily. I turned the heater off, I pulled out the canister, I turned it back on, and there must have been liquid fuel inside of it because vapor was escaping for at least 30 seconds. Once I thought the heater was empty, I shut the valve, inserted another canister, fired it up, and it worked perfectly. I'm not 100% sure what happened. I believe that somehow the liquid fuel got into the plumbing of this and that was causing all sorts of problems. Maybe by moving this around with the fuel canister connected, maybe that's the cause, I really don't know. It would be my advice only to put the fuel canister inside of the heater when you're about to fire it up. In this review, I've been moving it around just to show you all the heater, but in real world use, I would not recommend that. You put it down, put in the fuel, fire it up. When you're done, turn it off, take the canister out, and you may even wanna turn on the heater to make sure there's no excess fuel stuck inside of the system. And that, my friends, wraps up my review of the Cupid heater from Covia. All in all, I do like this product, but there are a few things that you have to keep in mind. This was designed for very small spaces a two person to four person tent, a rooftop tent, a very small vehicle, or a small space. That's it. This is a very small heater. 
The output is very low. Again, I believe it is the 3,333. This is not a Heater Buddy. Heater Buddy's put out 18,000 BTUs. Again, this is 3,333. There's a big difference. Ultimately, everyone, the selling point for this heater is the small size. That's what makes it so special. It is unlike anything else that's out on the market at the time of filming. There are other butane heaters out there, but they're quite a bit larger than this. This is definitely unique. And with that being said, everyone, I am done. Make sure to sound off in the comment section down below. What do you all think about the Cupid heater? Is it worth $140? Is it worth $110? How would you personally use this product? I like it, but it is limited. It's for a very specific use. And that's, again, in very small spaces. If you have found this episode helpful, hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel quite a bit. Everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now. Cheers.